my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part, too. Time is critical. <laughs> They're doing their part. Are you? Would you like to know more? Come on, you apes! You want to live forever? Where to spawn? Where to spawn? Keep moving! Keep moving! Oh. Take this from me. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, Job, Listen, I know last time I said this I was on some shit, but this time I'm telling you, pimp, you gotta believe me. This is the best horde shooter we've seen since Left 4 Dead came out a decade ago. It's the best bug extermination sim on the market, and it's the definitive citizenship simulator that taught me what it's like to live in the middle of Australia. Their bugs are mutinous, their lands are hotter than Captain Amenez, and most dangerous of all, the Australian people themselves, if you even believe they're real, because I'm, the developers certainly don't. Have you encountered an Australian in your infantry unit? You would know, because it looks like this. Does anybody have a mic? Shot the Higher fuck educator off. Good, one. You good, are good. good. It's an important question. Is this what your country is like? I don't know. How about you come find out and get up the country? Well, I have a fix for you. Aussies can be easily subdued by blasting the sweet noise of their homeland into the helmet of every man on your team, just to be sure that any hidden Aussie these will also get subdued. And because this game is basically an alpha, they can't even mute you! Would you like to know more? Now let's crack into it, but before I completely sway you into buying a spot on the mobile infantry unit, you should know that this game is definitely in its infancy. I'm talking barely a fetus. No, what you're really buying is a fantastic core gameplay loop and a seat on the short bus that they call 16-man team chat. Yeah, let's go fix there some bugs! Yeah! 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 Beyond that, this game is like an inflatable backyard pool that's halfway filled. So just know that going in and don't come bitching to me in a week calling it a disappointment for $25 saying, Bleak, you tricked me, you bastard. Let the record show. I gave you fair warning, all right, you son of a bitch. Now moving on, let's start by talking about the class. Operator. There are no other classes, only abstractions that may identify as a class, but in reality, they solely exist to die so the Operator can get loads of XP by reviving your dumb asses over and over again. And by the way, that revive is actually just getting you really high on drugs so that you don't notice the three places you are impaled by the bug menace. You're definitely still bleeding out on the way home, make no mistake about that. I'm just getting you up so that you can do your part in keeping those bugs Bugs off my rump posterior because <laughs> who signs up to be a medic to help other people? <laughs> no, 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 no. I signed up for this so that I can jump off that cliff, revive myself at the bottom, and keep running just to save a few seconds. And as an obligatory coverage of all the other abstractions, the Chungus class gets a personal bubble. My doors are open. Oh, let me get on in there then, buddy. Oh, this is comfy. This is very warm. Checking my rear. Oh, nice there. and close. Like, oh, oh my God, bugs. We, we continue this later. No, 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 no. I rigged fuck mine <laughs> to your feet, boy. Oh, oh yeah, my <laughs> <that's fucking laughs> bull. And your family, too, because I'll leave this bitch and I'll find him. Yeah, you know Ooh. how to leave this thing. You, you know how to leave it, right? Because I just don't want this to come up as non-consensual or nothing. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and all you hunters can be my fast track to napalm grenades anytime. Would you like to know more? Next up, let's talk about the gameplay. This was 13 hours of fire and fury, of bugs and raid, of mortar bugs, and getting sent into goddamn orbit. It's a real role reversal where instead you are the one getting stomped on by the bug and yet I just can't take my hands off the trigger. I'm from Buenos Aires and I say kill them all. There were bug guts flying, pilots were doing the flying, and troopers were doing the dying. But by God, our captains kept us all living. I Get on the fucking ship! Go on, that me? Get on the ship! This Man. is for y'all! You got this! Go on and have oh, sex! Do it for me! No, no, no captain! Guys, guys, there's no one else. There's no one else there's left. There's so much sex it's, left for you to have, captain! It's I'm literally up us. For you, guys, whoever's outside, it's literally you. That's right, get out of here, guys. I got you covered. Two Please, seconds. Captain. One Please, second. Captain. Oh, we made it. No. No. Captain. No. 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 No.
Perfect, gentlemen. Great work. Then you build an HQ to protect the Ark, aka the Juice Bar, by spamming down as much random shit within the base as possible so the stupid goddamn filthy bugs get confused when they enter and you can gun them down with ease. The mark of a truly great base is a base that not even those who built it can navigate. Oh shit, they're hitting the Ark. They're hitting the Ark. Where are they hitting it from? Where is the arc? <laughs> Where the fuck is the arc? Going to a higher difficulty? Add even more walls and make the bugs pay for it. I'm stuck in this bunker wall. Oh, I, I see you, partner. This is you? Yeah. Where is he? I, I need well, to see him. Well, I'll tell you, the best I can do here Where, uh, is I can wall you in. All right, I can add more walls to your position. Sir, well, can we just get rid of the bunker? Soldier, oh, I, I'd, I'd rather get rid of you before for... I get rid of that bunker. Yeah. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to second that. Remember, never chintz because chintzing leads to dying, and dying means you can't be a citizen. Would you like to know more? And for the final act of the mission leading right off of the horde defense mode, then you gotta run like hell to the extract, trying to put as many men between you and the bug menace as possible as they shoot out of the ground like goddamn VC. <laughs> I made the mistake of looking back. I'm dead. Now the trick on the extract comes in when somebody doesn't want to get on board and they're holding up the entire team because they want to make more bug paste. Listen, I get it. But in cases like these where they just won't listen, Mary Jane, Mary Jane, Mary Jane, Mary Jane I will execute you, Mary Jane. May I suggest the following? Use whatever ammo you have left to shoot, Mary Jane. Fuck this man. Fuck him. Fuck you, Mary Jane. Fuck you. <laughs> Leave him! Man, God damn it! Get in the <laughs> What did I say? Problem solved. And you may find my methods cruel. You may even think I'm a bad guy. But let me tell you an alternative ending to this story, pimp. A story where I go exactly where the extract lands before it does. I'm like Fleek Stradamus. I read that shit. I look into the future. But then right before we lift off, I notice that a guy's down behind the ship. So what do I do? I go to help him. Like a hero. And this is what happens. I die! Never help your teammates! I got a whole lot of bugs. I'm coming to your way, Brady. Your sacrifice will be remembered. Here, take a stim, big man. You earned it. When I left you to die, I knew that you would overcome the challenge, and that's why I did it. And my final extract tip is that upon successful extraction, always tell everyone how flawless the run went. Look at that. Didn't even lose a man. Good shit, brothers. No, no, we, we, we lost plenty of people. Nah, I didn't even lose a man. Flawless run. Flawless we lost run. Seven. The thing actually tells you how many people. Flawless we lost. run. I can't oh. believe we all got on the ship. Everyone escaped. Everyone made it. I can't oh my believe God. how good we did. And before I move on, if you motherfuckers keep talking in proximity chat instead of team chat, I will do my part in chopping you into part. Moving on, let's talk about the guns. The grenade launcher and the Saul LMG is really all you need. Now, the grenade launcher is fantastic because the enemy can't push a button if you just his entire goddamn body. And the Saw LMG is fantastic because it's going to disable your entire body with how many goddamn bones this recoil's gonna break. Past that, everything else is trash. You wanna know why everyone dies in the first movie? It's because they're using this piece of shit gun that is less effective than a can of Raid. Spin break! Would you like to know more? Now, my only gripe about this game is the budget cuts. Captain Jimenez was stacked like a goddamn Big Mac, and I want to know why. Why, 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 why can't I have my milkies? I've been a good boy. I've only been a good boy. Yet this is all I get off world? I won't stand for it. They've even brainwashed the frontline mobile infantry. Listen to this. Hey, 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 guys, look around you. Some of us characters are female characters because it's randomized. No, I like, my know. character is a female right now. It's ran fucking randomized. Don't trust it. Lie. <laughs> Lies. You're just a man with big old titties. <laughs> now, furthermore, in a completely unrelated point, let's talk about us, pimp. It was a pleasure serving with some of you pimps out there on the front lines. Now you flick a zoid on the, uh, the old YouTube or what? Now listen here, you fuck. <laughs> 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 that guy sounds like a real fucking cringe guy if you ask me. And I, and I just wanted to say that if you ever see me in a lobby and you really wanted to contribute to my rapidly declining sanity, drop subtle references to my videos, but never actually say just exactly who I am. Like this pimp right here. Sure, this area. What'd you say? You heard me. I did not. You didn't talk in fucking team chat. Say it in team chat. I said because after all, sometimes that's just the way it is. You uh, son of a bitch. I love you, pimp. Anyways, this game is absolutely fantastic, even if it'll only be alive for about three more weeks. But you want a piece of advice, pimp? 
Never pass up a good thing. And remember, service guarantees citizenship. Would you like to know more? Got him down, got him down, got him down. Keep running, keep running. Thank you, gentlemen. You will live on in my memory. Textbook execution. Only one dumbass did. Good job. Good one. Perfect. On the ground. Yeah, let's go victors and bugs. Yeah. I hugely appreciate the flock of pimps for funding the dumbassery scene in this video, and a very major thanks to R. Hayseed for becoming a pimperer. You asked for knighthood, and you get knighthood, all right? By the kingdom of pimps and the gods above, I decree you, Sir Pimperer Hayseed. Now rise, pimp. I noticed while I was doing this that you are also Australian. Well, guess what? Now you're a knight, and I'll also bundle in making you real. All right, pimp, congratulations, and thank you.